Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Yael Ezra Ben Levy. I want to make this very quick um, video addressing this growing trend of um, people of color, mainly black people, being um, profiled and having the cops called on them for the silliest of things. But this is one of the first things I, I want to address. I am tired of seeing videos of my people crying about racist stores that do not want their money. Do not cry about that. Simply take your hard earned black dollars and take your business somewhere else. Because if we will start to control our money and act like it's our money, we decide on where we spend our money. We do not have to go into that store that has a policy of racial profiling our people. We do not have to give them our money. We control our dollars. And it's time that we act like we control our dollars. Um, we need to protest with our dollars. Because all this um, rioting in the street and destroying our community and destroying the places where um, we go shop is not benefiting and changing their policies at all because we've been doing them for decades. So it's time that we be smarter. It's time that we be wiser, stronger, and more educated about the issues that are really going on. And once we do that, then we have to um, rally around the common goal that we have. And the common adversary and policies and agenda that America have to keep us down. And once we do that, then and only then will we might see change. Then and only then can we start the work that need to be done. Now, I'm 50. Some of the things I desire to see, I might not see it in my lifetime, but that I desire for my kids and my grandchild to see the things that to me is a dream. To me, that is promised, but I might not live to see it. I don't want my grandson to be in a world where he's still dealing with the issues that I had to deal with in my time. We have got to stop looking for the government. We have to stop looking for that next black hope or white hope, black messiah for someone to show up and that's going to lead us to the promised land and that agenda when it deals with the racism that goes on in America. We're not going to vote racism out that is not going to happen that does not happen with the uh, agenda change that doesn't happen with um a new party being voted into um, power that is dealing with the changing of a man's heart and you can't vote that in and out you could do all the amendments and you could change laws all you want and we see we have laws in place now that post to benefit us as a people but the thing is now is executing what is on paper putting it on paper is great and cute but when you're not going to implement um the power of it when it is broken it doesn't matter you just have something on paper because we are still dealing with issues that our ancestors dealt with and, and the height of the civil rights movement still dealing with them issues and even when we go to vote when we have the right to vote they try to do something to hinder us from voting or a new policy or something they will implement to stop us from voting overall so stop talking about the promise of the flag the flag is not living up to what it promised the the flag did not represent us period 
Let's just be honest. When people talk about I'm not getting my constitutional right, when the Constitution was penned, we were not even looked on as being human or fully human. The Constitution was not written with us in mind for the good. So we need to stop crying about what the flag promised us because the flag did not promise us anything. The national anthem did not promise us anything. That's why they, they did not sing the fullness of that song. Because it lets you know in that song what it thinks of us. The Constitution was not written or penned for the empowerment of us. So stop talking about what the Constitution, your constitutional rights. Because under the true spirit or the origin of that document, we were not in mind. They were not thinking about us to pinning rights in there for us. So we just need to be honest and clear and stop dreaming and talking about we're not getting our constitutional rights. It was never pinned for us to have them. So we're actually getting what it was designed for, nothing. And this is my opinion, I have the right to it. So all you people that will get upset and angry about my comments, guess what? I don't care. And I'm just voicing my opinion. Well, normally when someone voice their opinion, the feedback, be it positive or negative, it really doesn't matter because somebody is voicing their opinion. They want their voice to be heard on how they see things. So that's all I'm doing. So if you want to block me um, and all that other nonsense that comes with me just sharing my, my, my views, that's on you. You have the right to do so. I will not, I will not lose no s sleep over it. So that's all I wanted to share. This is my little rant for the evening. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy, a.k.a. Tommy Kurtaw. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time, fam. Peace.